Hi everyone, this is Maggie from MaggieGilla.com and today I'm going to walk you through the information that needs to be in your client welcome packet so that you can reduce miscommunication, stop back and forth emails and get set up for an amazing customer experience so that you can keep growing and keep scaling your business. <laughs> is it really important for the client to know? These are things like timelines, when you need content, and all those things that are necessary to be in place so that you can do your job. And the second thing is, what do they need to know about you so that you can have a good relationship working together? Here are some ideas. Your office hours, when are you available to communicate with them? If you work online or internationally, also make sure you include your time zone to make sure there's no miscommunication. An extra step is if you're scheduling meetings with your clients on a regular basis, have a link there in your welcome packet to your preferred online scheduling tool. How do you want your clients to communicate with you? Email only, in your project management system, in something like Slack? What's your preferred method? I always add a line several times actually in my client welcome packet that the best way to contact me is always by email because otherwise I might miss your message. Answering this can save so much frustration and back and forth from the client end. If you only work on your business on Tuesdays, just say so. If you never check your emails on the weekends, say so. Also include your ideal turnaround time for messages if you always strive for a 24 hour or 48 hour or however long that is window to reply to their emails so clients know when they should start messaging you if you got the previous message instead of bombarding you with emails. What are the next steps? Do they have to do something now? Is it your turn to do something? Do they have to wait for you? Very clearly outline what's happening next and what's expected of them so that you're both on the same page because this feeling of I know what's happening next gives so much control and confidence. And so make sure you give that same feeling to your clients with your welcome packet. Timelines. This is probably one of the most important points to include in your welcome packet. And especially if you expect or need to receive some kind of content from your client, like if you're a copywriter or a web designer or a branding designer, include very clear timelines in your welcome packet. So again, to manage your client's expectations and they know what is happening when. The legal stuff, the fine print. I know it's not really fun, but just in case someone hasn't read the contract, please include your fine print in your welcome packet. Things like your cancellation policy, your refund policy, what happens if they reschedule a meeting, what happens if they reschedule a meeting four times in a row, what happens if they're late on a payment or they don't get you content on time. This is not for the legality because they've already signed a contract, I'm assuming, but this is again to manage expectations and to make those really important things very, very clear so that you don't run into any problems or awkward situations further down the road. These are the six basic but very important pieces of information that you need to include in your client welcome packet to have a great start to work in a relationship, build trust, and be able to scale your business because you've cut down all this back and forth communication. Now I want to hear from you. What information do you think that you need to include in your client welcome packet? Tell me what you do. Let me know in the comments below this video. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so that I know that you've enjoyed it and I can keep making more videos like this to help you keep growing and scaling your business. Don't forget to grab your free list of tools on your client onboarding process and welcome packet in the description box of the video below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!